I am on the historic Near East side of Columbus, Ohio, which is traditionally the black community here in Columbus. I'm standing in front of a landmark, a very famous landmark, the Longstreet Bridge and Cultural Wall that represents famous African Americans from the city in which I was born and raised. I'll tell you why I'm here in a minute, but I just wanted to announce that the A&E Cable Network will air a segment on Ethel Johnson and her sisters, Babs Wingo and Marva Scott, these African American women integrated professional wrestling in the 1950s and 60s. And A&E will honor them by airing a short bio during the 8 p.m. hour on Tuesday, July 19th, 2022. And of course, these three sisters, they're literally sisters, they're biological sisters, are the focus of the documentary I directed, Lady Wrestler, The Amazing Untold Story of African American Women in the Ring. And the reason I'm standing here in front of the Longstreet Cultural Wall is because I hope by getting this national recognition from a national television network that these women will be added to this cultural wall and or they will have a street named after them here in Columbus and or be inducted into a statewide or at least citywide Hall of Fame. I've nominated these women for Halls of Fame in Ohio and Columbus and heard nothing back at all. So I'm hoping that now that these women are starting to get national recognition, not only from A&E, but Ethel was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in April 2021. And I just had a screening of Lady Wrestler in Brooklyn, New York during the inaugural Black WrestleFest and everyone there was really excited about the history of these women. Everyone I've talked to all around the world recognizes the importance of the contributions that these women made to history. So State of Ohio, City of Columbus, I hope you will step up and really honor these women. And I would like to leave you with an excerpt from Lady Wrestler in which Ethel Johnson talks about her amazing life and career in her own words. And you can watch the full length documentary, Lady Wrestler, on Amazon Prime Video. The A&E Network uh, segment is just a short video kind of giving an overview of these three sisters and their contributions to history. So I will let Ethel take it away in her own words. We would take things that we would see and then go a different direction with them. We had this one particular hole where you could get catch a person in between your legs and turn it over with your back and spin them all the way around and then this way. Then you would do a kip up, you know, over that, their uh, uh, chest, you know. Well, see, those type of things wasn't done and they're not done now. In contrast to other lady wrestlers who had more stout body types, Ethel was compact yet strong. Now, most of the girls when I came up was huge. Mm -hmm. Most of those girls that's on those pictures you saying that they were tall buddy and their average weight was from 150 to 165 you know at that time I only weighed 115 and I stayed 115 most of most of the time I was in the business mm -hmm. and I mean that's the loss of wear and tear on your body because you hell and heavy people so you got to find a way to compensate for that yeah. which I did by working fastly you know working quick if you like this video, please leave a comment, share it, and subscribe to my channel.